Welcome to AEE News. I'm C.T. Tangori. And I'm Robert Gundy. That one? And I'm Robert Gundy. In today's news, MDIS has an open house that is going on as we speak. Yes, there are various activities to be explored from the different schools, so be sure to head down to the various blogs and venues to find out more, and you just might find what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. First up today, MDIS has issued a press release regarding the incidents that happened in school today. Our reporter Sashi is on site right now. Sashi, please. They said that the main reason for the peaceful protest is the overwhelming demand for enrollment in the School of Media and Communications. Protesters have been camping out since 8 p.m. last night. Human rights! We are humans, we need rights! Let us in! Because we're humans! <laughs> The press release assures protesters that the school can still accommodate students if they are willing to apply for the course. The crowd has seemed appeased by this and have formed a human snake around the media school building. I'm like so shocked. I haven't seen something like this since, you know, like the Hello Kitty craze. I mean, look at this crowd. It's huge. Can you imagine? Like and in a school of all places. I, I'm just mind blown. Feels very good because there are so many uh, talented and creative young youths and we do actually kind of uh, recognize their talents. So it's quite amazing that there are so many people, you know, wanting to join the mass communication program. Wow, that's new. Now, Rob, mm -hmm. I heard you're from the <laughs> MDIS School of Media and Communications. That's absolutely correct, given my savvy look. Yeah. And now, ladies and gentlemen, we have an esteemed guest in our studio. He is the head of the School of Media and Communications in MDIS. Yes, and he has revolutionized the school in only the one month he's been here. Please welcome Dr. Manny Bogey. Mm. <laughs> Dr. Manny, congratulations on the overwhelming response to the intake this year. And uh, now, is there a connection between the whiteboard duster that you donated and the peaceful protest this morning? The only reason why people want to join my school mm -hmm. is because of the donation. It's, of course, the whiteboard duster. Yes. Yeah, and is there any other schools in the world that does that? When you think about it, oh, none. Yeah. There's none. And we are the first. All right. Yeah, so it's, it's gained a lot of attraction mm -hmm. to our school. So it has not only caused the protest, but it has also subsided the protest. Yeah. That's pretty cool. Huh? This morning when I went outside to, you know, talk to the crowd that was protest protesting. Yeah. I, I went out there and it was utter chaos. Right. None of them complied. None of them, you know, saw that I was there to, you know, stop them. Mm -hmm. So once I pulled out the duster, everything was cut. Right. Utter silence. It Man. was a peaceful protest. Oh. Wow. Wow. That sounds wow. Really good, yeah. That sounds now, really good. more on the actual duster. I know there must be a myriad of reasons as to why you donated the duster to school, but tell me, Dr. Manny. What made you donate a duster to the School of Media and Communication? Well, um, funny thing, it was a donation because I was an animal lover. I still am an animal lover. It's just that before the whiteboard duster came, it was a dog, a stuffed dog that was used to clean whiteboards all around school. And for such an unsightly thing, it's such an unsightly thing. So, you know, why not? change it up and throw that hunk of junk somewhere else. So we ended up using the duster and you know what? You know, guess what? 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 I really love fries. Wow. I just had to get it out there. That's, that's mind blown. That's really cool. That's really cool. Yeah. That is really inspiring, Dr. Manny. But I have to know, how does uh, this duster actually revolutionize the school, especially the media and communications clubs? I only thought that it would make me confident, but Mm -hmm. It's not just me, it's the students. They are more attentive in class, mm -hmm. the communications club are more active. Yeah. And you know what, since, since the whiteboard duster came in, mm -hmm. it has gained over you know, 20 short films. They have produced 20 short films, mm -hmm. 30 podcasts, mm -hmm. and over 100 articles published worldwide mm -hmm. on several magazines that mm -hmm. particularly pertain to the duster. Our student produced feature film, The Girl with the MDIS Duster, has been nominated for a Golden Elephant Award for Best Foreign Film this Wait, year. Wait, isn't it Golden Horse? No, it's actually Golden Elephant. Why? Because of its weight. So it's heavier? Yeah. That sounds legitimate. Okay. Right. It was, that was truly 
amazing and it's truly inspiring. get why SMC is getting more popular nowadays. I have no idea too, but you know, maybe it's the uh, extravagant studio, mm -hmm. the... Um, the um hot guys. The food. The food on hot guys. <clears throat> Close enough. Mm -hmm. Our reporter Bill there will take us behind the scenes of SMC's future inspiring filmmakers at work. And who knows, it might bomb into this few aspiring filmmakers. Mm -hmm. Hello, my name is Val, and today we have with us our filmmakers who have studied at MBIS and are now using their skills to help the media club to do short films and music videos. But first, we'll take a look at one of our Raw Diamond talent who was featured in one of the episodes. So let's go check it out. Hey. So, you are? My name is Kevin. And you were featured in Raw Diamonds episode... Six, six. if I'm not wrong. Yeah, episode right. six, yes. So, can you tell me what was your experience like on Raw Diamonds? Wow, it was random, I would say. You know what? Because um, the reason is because they did not plan to, ha to have me on Raw Diamonds that day. So, it was a random idea. So it all Self-invitation? <laughs> no, no, no. So basically, um, I have a friend. Her name is Putri. Mm -hmm. And she was, you know, she asked me, you know, she texted me asking, hey, uh, let's chill and, you know, just jam and record some stuff. And when she said record some stuff, she wasn't referring to, you know, making a Raw Diamonds episode. She was just, you know, referring to, you know, sitting down on the floor, recording using her Blackberry phone, yeah, th this kind of thing. And we, you know, we were all so glad because it, you know, it turned out really good. So, yeah. So what do you plan on doing now? Okay, uh, more music, of course, more originals. Of course, mm -hmm. of course. Because uh, me and my best friend, Piki Rajan, we, we are actually uh, having this project where uh, we write, we've been writing a lot. We've been writing a lot of original songs. And me and him, we're just, you know, we're just like butter and bread, you know. <laughs> I think. <laughs> like, like we compliment each other. That's, that's the word. Yeah, we compliment each other. So now, the main question for today. Would you recommend Raw Diamonds to your friends? You know what I would say? Why not? <laughs> of course, I would, I would. Because I must say that uh, the people who are behind the cameras, of course, you know, the director, the assistant director, everyone who, 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 who is like behind the cameras right now, they're really good, they're really good. Because Raw Diamonds, as you may know, is produced by the MDIS TV unit and you know, the people who are in the team, top notch. Top notch. Top notch, baby. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, one last request. Mm -hmm. See for us, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, why not? <laughs> all right, okay, all right. Hello, uh, okay, I'll, I'll just play something that I just recently wrote. Okay. okay.
Actually, uh, the editor here. I've uh, also I'm also the cameraman, okay. uh, sound mixer, and sometimes director. Sometimes director. <laughs> sometimes. So, what was your experience like working with the Raw Diamonds? Uh, well, it's fun. I must say that you learn a lot um, from both the camera techniques, getting to know new people, nice. and also editing. It really helps your portfolio. It's extremely fun because uh, I have awesome people to work with. Awesome. Thank you so much. Oh, no problem. So you think recording a song is easy? Watch this. Cause you make me feel like That's all the time we have for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our videos. Until next time, my name is Belle. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to check out these awesome Raw Diamonds videos, head on down to the SMC booth now to check out these videos. MDIS Football Club has um, engaged a, um, a meaty coach to bulk up the team striker. Well, speaking of that, I'm actually kind of hungry right now. Yeah, me too. Well, I feel like eating meat though. This instead? Yes, please. We shall head out to our reporter, Sean, who is standing by on a mission. Sean? MDIS Football Club recently lost their opening match against St. Joseph. For one thing, their striker, Sundram, had many chances to score, but failed to do so due to his lack of physique. Therefore, we hired a trainer just to help him out. My name is Sundaram. I play as a striker for MDIS. And uh, if there's one thing I could change about my game, I wish I could be a little more physical in the game. And I hope this training helps me become a little stronger. Dude, I have a job for you. Yeah, thank you. You think you're up for it? 
I'm always up for a challenge. Let's get to it then. Hello, my name is Bellaman. I've been working out for two years. Last time I was very skinny, my weight was 49 kg. Uh, after that I became a gym enthusiast because I was not comfortable with my body and I want to grow my body bigger. So now my weight is 79 kg. I currently aiming for 85 and I hope my gym skills will help uh, Sundram to overcome his challenge. Are you ready? Yes! Let's go! Good, you? All good. Take a look at this video. This is Sundram's progress since the last time you trained him. What do you think? Oh, wow, it's pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. He actually improved a lot. Definitely. I hope MDS team will win more matches because of him. So there you have it. Now he is ready to roar. This is Sean reporting for AE News. Thanks for watching. Wow, Sia City, your outfit very the nice one. Huh? Thank you. Thank you. Wow, very nice, very nice. The flower, very yeah, the power one. I like it, thank you. I like it, time, huh? I received an email. Love no, from who? Who? Victoria Beckham. Hey, Sia Victoria Beckham, the husband, wow, kickball and do yeah, so yeah. toilet one. Huh? Yeah, you know, oh. you know she loves my flowers. So oh, serious? Huh? Hey, hey. Uh, are you recording? Uh, <coughs> anyway, why don't you heed the advice of Melvin, our fashion guru, on the do's and don'ts of your first day of school? Having the same problem? Fret no more. Here are the five tips on do's and don'ts on what do you have to wear on the first day of school. Rule number one, keep it nice, clean and sleek. Rule number two, no switching of perfumes. There's a myth that says guys can attract girls by using a lady's perfume. Bust it! No, it doesn't work that way. There's a reason for a men's cologne, so use them. Rule number three, v-necks and not v-necks. This applies to both guys and girls. Ever heard of less is more? Yes, less is revealing, more is modesty. So please, we're not running a charity event here. Like how cleavages are always linked to tabongs. So please guys, cover up. 
Rule number four, no see-through. Hey, Ara, check this out. Oh my gosh, who is that? It's that guy. Check out oh what, what he's wearing. Oh my god, yeah. why is he so hot? Is he? This one, this one. Oh no, 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 I like this one. This one? This one, go down, go down. Okay, okay. No, no, this one, this one. Mm. Hey guys! Honestly, see-chew and netting should be abolished. There is a reason why we use nettings to catch animals. You don't say. Rule number five, no short shorts. They are shorts and they are short shorts. That's all the time we have for now. Now we'll see you at 845. Till then, mm. I'm Siti Tengari. And I'm Robert Gundy. And this is AEE -E News. AEE. -E. Anything, everything, exciting.